Your shawl shall be mine. So what we have here, guys, is a one-mana hero power, meaning that I can play like my giant very early at turn 3. The problem is a bit Hunter, huh? That is a problem, because I'm not so great against Hunter, am I? With their 3 damage hero power. I don't think I can keep giant against Hunter. We'll always keep it, almost. Let me update the deck, put the deck on stream. I think it is a 3 damage hero power, Hunter. No, it's not. So guys, where normally the Warlock has to pass at turn 1, what if you now can do this? One mana hero power, guys. One mana hero power, feels amazing, man. Hey guys, I did a question. How did your great mage per uh, perform? Is it worth crafting it? I climbed for rank 5000 to 1000. That's how well it did. It did very nice. It did a very, very nice. This double stack spell stone, so let's play it. You kind of have to play a little more heal maybe in this deck because you tap with like so much with this deck with your one mana hero power. Sure. Look at this. Man, I, I have to get used to this one better hero power, guys. Life tapping for one. Easy. My King's joining in. Hey, Thais, how are you? Have a nice stream. Love you, man. Rika Yusu, eat C Tech, Alex Wise. Hey, how are, you, how are you doing, Alex Wise? Good to see you. Um, do we already not want to take damage anymore here? Can already do this here. Hit the face. Or I just go Drake and chill. So it looks like a spell hunter, maybe. Well met. Hey, Fidges, what do you think about Hooked Reaver in this deck since you are tapping so much? Ooh, that's interesting. I did not think of Hooked Reaver. I wouldn't mind that Hooked Reaver. So there is no Ketrick anymore. Oh, bad draw. Hey Yeba, hope you are. Thais, what is a counter to the Warlock at the moment? I'm stuck at rank 1 and facing 8 out of 10 Warlocks. Oh really? I think this deck can maybe do decent. I don't know. I have to figure out myself a bit too. I need the curse, guys. Curse with messy horror is so good. It's not a red uh, secret, right? Or is it? Does anybody playing with that secret, huh? make a two there it's a bit awkward maybe I'm too passive here maybe I could have like let one survive there but don't underestimate how fast that they can go face yeah spell hunter okay so we can maybe get the meat wagon on now go giant coin meat wagon it's so funny guys that if I tap like, I'm always like, oh, I, I have to play Giant before tapping, or like, maybe I cannot tap anymore. But with now, if you have the play of Giant Coin Meat Wagon, you can always tap, because it's only one mana. So you make it one mana cheaper. What am I thinking? You can always tap in this deck. Meat Wagon on the board! Meat Wagon on the board! And Thais, why are you playing Meat Wagon? Good question. I will ask the same question. With the Meat Wagon, we can get on the Summoning Portal. And with the Summoning Portal, we can get the Echo. And if we then have a Giant, we can go Giant, 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 Giant. All for the price of one.
bam. Ooh. <laughs> I can also make a full board of meat wagons, I guess. That's why is this deck called Odd Wagon Lock? Because it's an odd meat wagon deck. Hi guys. In wild, have you tested if Yogg plus Grumble and Shutterwop gets infinite random spells? Oh, I haven't tested wild at all and I'm not gonna test wild either. I mean, I kinda cannot get it going anymore because of... Um, because of me not having a summoning portal in the deck. So maybe I should just drop these two now. Because we what, what we wanna what we wanna keep is uh, this combination with this. This is just like a Nether, but then with like summoning a two seven. If you like often, I mean not always, but just way more often. Oh, it's even. Oh, I'm stu I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, that's what I mean, guys. This even. <laughs> Just, just testing your early morning skills in the chat. Um, don't you want to do it the other way so your minion survives? Hmm. Yeah, I kind of got to. It's not really beneficial anymore with much tapping. Just gotta get gold down soon and then start heavily removing. Are there any demons we can play more, guys, at the 2, 4, 6, or 8? Maybe he is like playing around um, the sea giant, yeah, I don't know. So, these are all random secrets, guys. They are all created by the Rock Dalar, so really hard to say what they are. Let's go. Let's get the cooldown in. Our cooldown hero power is not one, right? No. Ah. So next turn we can go Echo Mossy Mossy Horror. Very good. Well, there is no. Cat trick anymore. So every time you play a spell, there cannot be a secret popping out of the hunter anymore, guys. They just don't have a spell that interacts with secrets. Oh, baby! Feels amazing, man! This looks like a great game, guys! We have here Top Gun joining in! Thank you, Top Gun, for the sub. Hope you are doing great so far. Less than three. Oh my god. Uh, look at this, guys. Like, and the cool thing is, I can also choose to not just go Mossy Wagon, uh, Mossy Horror yet. I can also do this and be like, la 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 la, and just play it again and just ignore it and go face. I will play it here, though, but. But you can use it as like a super good setup because it still works on their turn. Give all man all minions minus two until your next turn. So when it is his turn, it still um, it still doesn't have the the power anymore. Hooked Reaver is a demon. Also, Dread Infernal is a good demon. It stacks your spell stones and is pretty good against Paladin. Dread Infernal is an interesting one. I think I like the Dread Infernal idea. But the thing is, like, I don't need necessarily cards that stack my Spellstone. Like, my Spellstone are so easily getting stacked in this deck. Kinda. The problem is more, I just need more healing. Because I tap so much. Like, every time, I start already turn 1 tap, turn 2 tap, turn 3 tap, play Giant. Like, it goes so fast with my life. Easy game, easy life. Meat wagon lock is OP, guys. Even meat wagon lock. 
Maybe you want to play Rin in this deck. I can really see the Rin. Like with Rin you just get generate so much more options, don't you? You get like much better uh, Gul'dan value. We have turned our curse into oh guys. So can I now play Giant turn 3? Is that how it goes? So guys, normally you are like, not like this. I have to pass turn 1, right? I draw a card, turn one. And I draw a card next turn again. And you think turn four giant is good, right? You think turn four giant is good? Watch. Watch and learn. The end is coming. <laughs> no! <laughs> Really? I think I coined Meat Wagon. So yeah, this is what I know, what I what I wanted to say, guys. That we can now play the Giant at turn three, but maybe people already play Doomsayers turn two in a Shaman deck nowadays, huh? Why not play when I'm ahead on board? Play a Doomsayer at turn two. Ah, what is this? Can still coin out the Meat Wagon. And the Meat Wagon dies. And look at this. <gasps> Uh oh, uh oh, they are very cheap now. <laughs> too bad a giant, too bad a Drake next turn. I can even tap, right? Oh, I can even tap. I can even tap for a one mana giant and a two mana Drake. <laughs> oh, this deck. This deck. Guys, it's so underestimated how big the upgrade on your hero power can be. People are like, yeah, you play an even or an odd deck. But man, this upgrading all the hero power. Look at this. Well met. <laughs> hey, love you, Thidges. Let me know what you think of my healing paladin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, you hex one of them, huh? Well, there is still another one. Twilight Sea Giant. What? No, Twilight Beetle Sea Giant. There we go. Yeah! Shadow Walk Shaman OP! Ooh, OP guys! Do you know what's OP? When you play two giants turn four. 